We'll start with Stephen Nego, please. Uh, Jaden, it, it just seemed like it was a, a frustrating night for you guys. You never really could get into a, a rhythm. How, how can you kind of describe this one? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough one. Uh, we couldn't get in a rhythm all night. Uh, we made some strides here and there, but um, they really punched us in the mouth uh, throughout the whole game and credit to them and their game plan. But yeah, we we just a little, little off tonight, a little off kilter. Go next to Ronnie Woodward, please. Jaden, as you, I know it's kind of heat of the moment right now, but as you kind of head into the off season, just what do you maybe think needs to to happen, or what do you think the focus maybe needs to be the program to to obviously kind of move up in this league? Just got to have better perimeter shooting. Um, got to get in the gym more. Um, just got to get better uh, mentally and physically, and just uh, really just be a student of the game. We'll go back to Steven, please. Jaden, what was kind of the, the locker room atmosphere like? I know nobody will see their season come to an end, but kind of describe what the, the emotions were in there. I mean, we had some seniors um, and some senior walk-ons, and it, it was very emotional. Um, no, like you said, no one wants their season to end uh, be a game, but just got to console those guys and um, just thank, thank them for all they've done for the program because uh, they've done a tremendous part. Go next to Brian Murphy, please. You know, Jaden, in the first half, you only had four shots. Was UCF's defense doing anything that really frustrated you, or what do you think caused that? Um, just a little bit of everything, just timing. Um, uh, I had some looks that um, that I could have got from my teammates, but they made they made good uh, plays throughout the night. Um, and just credit to them, they they've been doing. Uh, 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 Coach Dawkins, he does a really good job of scheming for me. And uh, I was able to I was able to be effective in the second half. Uh, we got some good looks, but uh, yeah. So just credit to their defensive scheme on me. I think Chuck called him. Did you call on me there, Chuck? Uh, You're up, Patrick. Okay, thank you, uh, Jaden. Uh, as far as just kind of characterizing the last month and a half, uh, go from the high of beating Houston. You guys play a couple of close losses to some really good teams, but then things are shut down. Did you ever feel like you guys uh, were ever just able to kind of get out of the starters block with this most recent restart? Um, I mean, really, I mean, I, I besides like our non-conference, um, after we came back from uh, Chris's break, we haven't been in a rhythm at all during the second half of the season. Um, but it's not we can control. I mean, we're going through a pandemic, so we just got to do what we got to do. Teams are still coming out of pauses and still playing well. So we just have to be able to adjust to that. And this will be a learning experience for how to deal with this next uh, next season. Okay, we'll take a couple more for Jaden. We'll go to Dan Tortora, please. Jaden, just kind of going off of that, what you can say about navigating through this as a student athlete and such an interesting year and a very trying year, I'm sure, on you as a player that we don't get to see the fact that you don't really have a life. You go to practice, you go to your games, you go back to your room, you can't really do anything. How have you handled this season and what can you say about the life of a student athlete? Um, it's it's tough for everybody. So if I'm gonna speak for myself. I mean, I'm a I'm a selfless guy, I'm a team first guy. So um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jeopardize uh my teammates or our season by going out, but uh things happen. Um so I mean people catch COVID from the court. So if, if you catch it from the court, you, you can't really help it, but it's just a mental thing and a mental aspect. And then sometimes it's draining. It's draining on you. And um, I feel for all the student athletes, this is just a very draining season. Uh, you don't know when you're going to play games. Uh, it could get canceled left and right. You could be on pause, not doing anything. Can't play, can't play basketball. So uh, I just speak, I just speak to like, I understand any student athlete going through stuff and we just got to be there for them as, as teammates and brothers. Great, Jaden, thanks so much for your time. Excuse you back to the locker room. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're joined now by ECU coach Joe Dooley. Uh, coach, we just get uh, maybe your opening thoughts on the game, please, before we open up to questions. Just fire away with the questions, guys. All right, then we'll start with uh, Stephen Ago, please. 
Uh, Joe, it just seemed like UCF got up quickly and then kind of con- controlled the pace. And you guys got made a run at times the second half. But how do you kind of sum this one up? Uh, I, I, I thought we were awful. I mean, we didn't play well. I thought they played really well, got off to a good start. Uh, hurt us with some, you know, our ball screen. We hadn't given up that many layups off a of ball screen defense in a while. And they, they bothered us early with ball screen. And then the second half, they just punished us inside with post play. Okay, we'll take the next one from Ronnie Woodward, please. Joe, when you look at uh, UCF's won 12 straight in this series, it, you know, and three this season, it, is it just kind of a – when that happens with two teams, is it a matchup thing? Is it mental at all when one team just kind of has that advantage over another for a long period of time? I think it's been a bad matchup. I mean, I thought, you know, our first year they hit with, with Taco and, John, and Aubrey Dawkins and all those guys had a lot of experienced guys. And now, uh, you know, I, I do think Mahan and, and obviously when they took Perry – uh, they've stayed old and, you know, got old and stay old. And I think they've guys have developed and obviously Reynolds didn't, you know, Reynolds, although he's a freshman played really well against us, you know, both games and uh, Diggs played really well against us. So I, I think it's been a matchup as well. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't imagine that any of our guys even know about the streak to tell you the truth. Go to Patrick Johnson for the next one, please. Coach, was it, uh, it seemed like they really put the clamps on Jaden in the first half and obviously struggled from three. So that didn't really, open things up inside or, or really give him any room. Did one thing kind of lead to the other, or was it just a case of just not knocking down those threes tonight? Well, the court's going to get shorter every time you don't make threes. I mean, people are just going to shrink the court on you, and they did. Um, you know, we didn't get to the free throw line as much as we had been recently, but, uh, you know, when you're not making threes, you're, it's going to shrink the court, and that's what they did. We'll go to Dan Tortora for the next one, please. Coach, can you just speak? I asked Jaden about this uh, from the student-athlete point of view, but – just how you've taken this season and, and just what it's been like to coach through a pandemic and have to deal with the fact that you really don't have a life and seeing these student athletes do the best that they can in a situation that's obviously very unique to the time. You know, I, I, I think that, first of all, we're not frontline responders, so it's not like we're doing anything, you know, overly heroic. But I do think that these guys and young ladies have been unbelievably uh, vigilant. I think they've done an unbelievable job trying to do what they want to do, which is play basketball. And uh, a lot of sacrifice on their part. We're, you know, I'm proud of our guys. I'm sure that every other coach is proud of their young young ladies and young men also. And it's it's been unique for everybody uh, as a society. But uh, I think they deserve a lot of credit for the sacrifices that made, they've made in order to play the game they love. Okay. Time for two more. We'll go to Jonathan Alfano, please. Can you kind of describe what the dynamic is of playing a team back to back? You played them in your last regular season game, and now you play them first round of the conference tournament. What's what's that kind of effect have on the game? Uh, well, you know, I think it familiarity. We obviously, you know, had you know scouting report. We just saw them a week ago Thursday, so I think that we, uh, you know, we we or a week ago. So I do I do think that um, you know you have a little bit more familiarity personnel. Uh, you know, they tweaked a couple of things. We tweaked a couple of things, but I. Um, I, I don't think there's much difference to tell you the truth at all, but it, it's, it does make scattering for a little bit quicker. And we'll take the last one from Steven. I go, please. Uh, Coach, when you look at kind of the, the struggles down the stretch here for you guys, how much of it is a balance versus looking at, Hey, we are obviously hurt by the COVID pause and then maybe we still need to upgrade the talent in some certain areas. I think both. I, mean, I, I think both. We do need to keep it to continue to upgrade talent. I think like every other. But I do think you know. I watched. I looked through game notes, and I, I believe, if I'm not wrong, you know, when Central Florida shut down for a little bit, they lost six of seven coming out of when they came out of pause. So it, it, there's no telling how your team can respond. We, you know, we, I, I, you know, after these deals, there's no, you know, book that you can read, or there's no, you know, manual to follow, but. I do, I do think that, um, you know, we'll continue. We do need to continue to upgrade our talent. We need to develop the young guys that we have in the program and, and, and try to get better. Coach Julie, thanks for giving us a few minutes tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.